right, around the back to cross over. Two, three, four, two, three, four. 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 Two, four, two, three, four. Two, three, four, two, three, and four. Good gentlemen, your timing. Two, three, four, two, three, four. Two, four, two, three, four. Two, four, two, three, four. Two, three, four, two, three, four. All right, gentlemen, your descriptions. It's an open break. Walk the lady around, and then she's got an inside turn after it. So it's going to go two, three, four. Lady goes around. Two, three, four. Four, lead inside turn. Walk with her. Two, while leading her. Four, to the hammer lock position. She does cucaracha, you as well. Two, three, four. Back break. Walks to catch her while you turn. Two, three, four, crossover. Two, three, spot turn. Side step ending. Now, ladies, your timing. Two, three, four. 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 Now, ladies, your timing. Two, three, four. 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 All right, guys, pro tips and techniques. Difficult little pattern here. So if we do a back break, two, three, four, leading lady around. Watch and make sure that both hands are working simultaneously. Instead of it being a dominant hand, two, three, four, and you're just coming around, both hands have equal pressure on this. So two, three, four, I walk around, two, three, four. This next section, I like to step side, but it cannot be far away from her. As she does her turn, two, three, four. Okay, and then I gotta step with her. It, it's gonna be possibly a little bit different every time simply because it's not a science. So if we go two, three, four, two, three, four. She starts that turn. My next step, if I feel like I can make her move a lot, I might even close my feet. Two, three, four. Okay, and then I'll do the cucaracha with her at that time. Mm -hmm. Ladies, extremely important that at the end of the four, you've already completed your spiral. If you don't, this next rotation, it's really almost impossible to do. So if I can show it you over here. Two, three, four. You're going around the man. Two, three, four. On that four, I already have to be finishing my spiral. Now I continue. Two, three, four. I need to be facing this direction. Now I can snap it sideways. Two, three, four. Right? This is not the most comfortable position. A lot of time you will feel like you want to stay back instead of stepping forward. You have to make sure that you transfer your weight completely onto your left foot because your next rotation starts with stepping with your right leg. Extremely important over here. Jim, and the uncomfortable part for her goes all the way through to you as well. After your cucaracha, if I go two, three, four, and I stay closer to her, this is just a really uncomfortable position to be in and almost an impossible position to be in to lead her correctly. So you'll see me do my two, three, four with her, two, three, four, but I want to move my spine with her. I want Kasha's spine moving so that as she takes her next step, I can go ahead and start that turn into the, into the crossover. So don't rely on this. I mean, it's not like this is your, your, your safety line or, or your lifeline that she can or cannot make this. This is merely a connection that she gets information from. So make sure that, you know, she's got hers and you've got yours on this cucaracha to the next step. Two, three, four. Okay, and at that time I've taken the two hand hold. I'm gonna do a two, four while she's turning because right now we need to get on opposite. Two, three, 
forward. That'll put us on opposite feet because we have been on the same foot. Then I run with her as she turns. Two, three, four to set up that crossover. Mm -hmm. And ladies, again, the second set of turns, keep it very small and compact, right? So even over here as I go, two, three, four. Commit to that foot, like I said, but don't make a big step. Now you're going to be turning, and again, try to stretch that side towards your partner. Try not to look away from the direction that you're traveling because you won't be able to make it. So even though I'm rotating, I'm looking where it is that I want to end up at. Pretty much all the way to the end of my second turn. Okay, guys, well, if we do it head on, you'll see what side of the dance position Kash is on during the cucaracha. Two, three, four, I have to move with her. Now, I'm gonna be giving her a two-hand turn, but watch where I take her spine. Two, three, four, I've cleared her to the other side that way. That next section into the uh, crossover, I've got her on the right track. If I let her turn straight down this line, two, three, four, two, three, four. Now I'm blocked and I can still get to a crossover, but it's gonna have to be in this direction as opposed to where the energy that we just did this, two, three, four, everything's flowing in this direction, so I want her traveling in that direction. And also keep in mind, because she has another rotation, right? So you, can, you need to make sure that she comfortably clears your path, and then as you're progressing for your crossover, she still keep on turning. Okay, one last time on mm -hmm. us. Side break. So we have a two, three, four, two, four. Jim, the only thing that's weird about that is that two, four while you're turning here, but now we're running to catch it. Two, three, four, there's your crossover. It's a simple crossover. We can make a little snap to the crossover. A two, four, two, three, four. Okay, this ending. When we do the spot turn, two, three to make it crisp or maybe something you want to go into something of an old step of years ago called a surprise closing and then going to right into cucarachas or a side step either way two three this one really dissolves your energy this one really uh, kind of wraps it up a bit tighter all right have fun with that step